John Crispin. Now, John, first of all, what's your reaction to this entire investigation? Well, first and foremost, whether you are ready for it or not, college basketball season's here. Uh, probably not in the most positive light, but you know, it brings a guy like me out of hibernation, and I get to talk about it. Uh, I wasn't surprised, and if anything, I was surprised and disappointed to see a lot of people go on TV, a lot of pundits out there, and act surprised that this is what's happening in our lovely game. This is the culture of college basketball. We joke about it. We all know it. And then we act surprised and disappointed when it gets thrown in our face by the FBI. I think we like to live in this world where college basketball is this perfect, pure sport. It's not. The culture of basketball from the age 10 all the way up is all about what you can get as an individual. And it's just a matter of time for this all to come out. Uh, if anything, I think it, it just was a ticking time bomb. There's been a lot of smoke. There's been a lot of fire. And it finally comes out. You mentioned you weren't surprised, but Patino has been involved in some situations in the past. What was your reaction to his indefinite suspension now from Louisville? Well, my reaction was plausible deniability can, can only last so long. Giving someone the benefit of the doubt because they're a Hall of Fame coach only goes so far. I mean, you're talking about scandal after scandal, and you're in a position where you're not coaching professionals. You're coaching young men, and you're turning those boys into young men. Hopefully those young men become grown-ups who can influence others. So the responsibility you have, not only as a coach, but as a Hall of Fame coach, uh, you're given Hall of Fame status, and you haven't even retired yet. That means you're not only representing your team, your school, your players, but you're also representing the game of basketball. And I think that's something that we haven't mentioned enough, that you get away with a lot in terms of being a Hall of Fame coach because you're given the benefit of the doubt for all the things that you've done as a coach. But you forget that there, there's a serious responsibility that you've been given. And it's just, like I said, a matter of time. I, I make the there's, – there's smoke, there's firewall, there's been a lot of firewall. That's been Rick Pitino over the past few years. So plausible deniability for a while worked. Uh, benefit of the doubt, work for him for a while, but at this point, you've got to just put your foot, foot down and say, this is not who we are. The school is bigger than any basketball coach out there. And you mentioned, too, there's been a lot building up around Patino in the past and this responsibility he has to his players in Louisville's presser today. They said that the next person they want to find is someone that represents integrity for this program. I know it's too early to tell right now, but who could be some possible names if things really do fall down for Patino and he is um, effectively fired? Well, if you're going to answer that question, you have to first ask the question, why would we hire a certain person? Are we just trying to win basketball games anymore, or are we trying to recapture uh, an image of a program? And I think that's exactly what Louisville's got to do. They've got to recapture a positive image of their basketball program. They're going to make money no matter what. So, I, so I don't, don't even tell me it's just about winning basketball games. The amount of games that teams have on TV these days, the lucrative contracts that we have with sportswear companies, they're all going to make money even if they don't win a single game for five years. They're going to make plenty of money. It is really about recapturing a broken image. And I immediately look at a guy like Tom Crean who's available, um, and you look at what he did, and again, it's not saying that he's the guy. But what he did at Indiana, a high-profile program with all the pressure in the world, all the expectation in the world, he didn't just look to win right away. He looked to build a program the right way. And it's ironic because as he leaves, all the Indiana fans that had FireTomCreen.com shirts on, all this stuff, those were all the same people that said once he was gone. Once he was gone, they said, well, he actually did a really good job. So it's interesting. You almost need someone who's willing and able to do it the right way take the heat, take all the expectations, but still focus on building a program the right way and, and playing high-level basketball and actually coaching guys to a level that can get them to the NBA. Because remember, that's what kids are really coming to school for if you're only coming to school for a year or two. Yeah, John, a lot to digest, and I'm sure there'll be even more information coming out in the coming days. As always, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Looking forward to it.